What's up gamers, today I got something for you Switch fans out there. It is the Nexico Grip Con. If you're like me and you've been playing handheld mode and you get those thumb cramps, this is gonna help out because this is basically a pro controller for playing in handheld mode on your Switch. Let's get into it. All right, we've got the GripCon from Nexico. This does fit the Switch and the Switch OLED, both of those. It has Hall Effect joysticks, auto turbo function, accurate motion control, and dual motor vibration. There's not much else to this box. You can see that it does come in three colors. We have white and clear ice, and I got this in Cosmic Nebula. But I think all three colors look really, really awesome. Let's open it up and see what we have. I feel like it's packaged really well. Like the packaging is nice. All right here inside the box we have a USB type A to USB type C cable for pass through charging. A nice long manual quick start guide. And it does have an important note here that you have to go to system settings, controller and sensors, pro controller wired communication and set pro controller wired communication to on. It does have to be turned on for this to work. And there it is, Cosmic Nebula. It has a really nice soft rubbery texture to this outer shell part right here and on the back it does have this textured grip on it we do have back buttons on this controller by the way and that is pretty awesome we have a usb-c port on the bottom for that pass through charging an actual d-pad full size sticks and your a b x and y buttons here you got your plus and minus buttons home looks like a turbo button your picture button and I'm not really sure what that one is there also on the inside this has a felt inside here to keep the back of your switch from getting scratched I like it this is actually seriously comfortable to hold the triggers feel good the bumpers feel nice the joysticks have a nice click to them in terms of how the buttons feel I actually have no complaints whatsoever let's slide the switch in here and see what that looks like helps if you put the switch in the right way which fits right in there <laughs> like it's always supposed to be there Look at those RGBs around the sticks and on the sides here that is so awesome been playing Luigi's Mansion 3 with the kids again and Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga runs surprisingly well on the switch in split screen i was not expecting that because lego marvel Super Heroes 2 several years ago didn't but this one <laughs> looks really good what should we do what should we do i'm gonna try out a couple of games here of course try out a little super mario bros wonder i really do like these rgbs on here so these back buttons you see the little zigzag line there on that bottom button that is for turning the vibration motor up and down so this one turns it up and this one turns it down so you can increase or decrease the strength of the vibration motor and then this little m button right here is what you hit to map these back buttons so this one would map the mr button this one would map the ml button screenshot what does that do All right so this this little circular button here changes your lights you can switch and if you double click it changes your light mode so you can have them pulse or fade in and out or turn them off so that's pretty cool let's just try a little bit on super mario wonder i want to see how this d-pad does here i actually really love what they did with all the little flower voices in this game and all the new animations that mario has and the crazy stuff that happens with the Wonder Flowers. I think the singing level is really hilarious. So I think the joysticks actually feel really good in this game. And during that entire gameplay thing, my fan was going off so loud that you couldn't hear me. So I just didn't talk. So I think the joysticks feel really, really good. They're really responsive. The clicks are good. Man, all of these buttons feel great. I haven't played this game in like three years. <laughs> But uh, this feels really good and it's so much more comfortable to hold than the regular Switch. you got these huge grips here on both sides that your hand just fits really comfortably in your palms. So I think these control sticks feel really, um, really responsive. I have my sensitivity turned down actually uh, quite a bit, but they're helping me get headshots left and right. Uh, whoa. Vibration feels really good too. And I like that it's adjustable and you don't have to plug it into a computer or anything to do that. You just tap those buttons on the back and you can adjust it to however you want it to feel. These guys are hilarious. Try this sawed off rifle or just this regular rifle. Something else I really like is the top of these joysticks. They have a nice concave 
top to them that's really soft to the touch, but then right around the edges it's rough so that your thumbs don't slip off very easily. It feels really, really good. It's a really good design. I actually really like this. Now obviously this is going to make your Switch not as portable. It's going to be taller as well as wider and you can't take these off and share a Joy-Con with a friend or a family member. But if you're like me and most of the time what you're doing is playing this on the couch while your wife watches the great British cook-off or something like that, then this is going to be fantastic for you. It looks cool. It feels really good in the hands. Going to save you those terrible hand cramps and probably some arthritis down the road <laughs> from those tiny joysticks. And I think you're getting a really high quality product. Of course, time will tell, but this really is, in a lot of ways, a pro controller. You have the programmable back buttons, you have a turbo button, you have Hall Effect joysticks. Of course, you don't get analog triggers, but the Switch doesn't utilize analog triggers anyway. But you do get the cool RGB lights, and that's pretty awesome. And this doesn't have its own battery. It runs off of the Switch's battery, so you don't have to worry about your battery being dead on the controller. And of course, you can always use the pass-through charging to charge your switch while you play so for the price especially if you play a lot of handheld switch in your home anyway i think this is absolutely worth the purchase it really is that good it feels that nice i mean there's a lot to love here and if you've been like me and wanted something more comfortable for years i say give this a go i think the price is absolutely right for the features that you get and i don't think you can go wrong with it i have an affiliate link below if you want to pick one up for yourself thanks for liking subscribing and all that jazz do me one last favor and stay kind and encouraging out there i'll catch you on the flippity flip.